Okay, so I had some leftover uh, mashed potatoes yesterday. And I decided that I'm going to make, I've seen it somewhere on the YouTube, some smiley faces uh, made out of the potato, mashed potatoes. Um, I got four tablespoons of cornstarch, a tea, half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, and a half a block of Monterey cheese. Now I'm going to mix all this with the potato. And I've never tried this before, so let's see how it comes out. I might need a little bit more cornstarch, not sure yet. Or a little bit of flour, because my potatoes are super, super soft. They're real fluffy, and, and the potato needs to be a little bit drier. For this to actually work. And I'm just putting the cheese in it. Um, they didn't put any cheese. I'm putting cheese because I want flavor uh, when you bite into the little potato patties. So let's see how this comes out. Still a little too soft for me, so I'm going to add a little bit of flour to this. And um, maybe another tablespoon of corn. Let me wash my hands real quick. And I have some oil already on the stove heating up because we're going to deep fry them. You just sprinkle. Mm. This is a tablespoon that I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and use three tablespoons. Well, I'll do four. That way it's even like with the cornstarch. Four tablespoons of the flour. Yeah, it's feeling much better. sure I'm scraping off everything. Still need it a bit drier. Like I said, I've never made this before, so I'm learning as I'm going. When I saw it, they were saying, oh, put two up uh, small potatoes, but I already had the mashed potatoes already done. So I'm not gonna, I don't know, this is like four medium potatoes probably. Go ahead and use another tablespoon of flour. And one of cornstarch. Yeah, because you're going to have to be able to handle them as you're picking them up. And right now it's a little too soft. I lost count. That was, what, five of each already? And being that it's a whole bunch, I'll probably have to double up everything. It's five. Seven and seven. And that way I don't get confused. And I really don't care about the seasoning because my potatoes were already had flavor from yesterday. So I'm not gonna worry about that. And then the cheese is gonna give it flavor as well. Okay, let me 
go lower the heat on that oil. I can smell it already that it's getting heated up a little too much. Give me a moment. Since I have so much potato, I really had to put a lot more. Okay, so I'm going to do 10 of the flour. I decided that I'm going to be making um, homemade uh, corn dogs and instead of fries or anything like that, make the leftover potatoes into the smiley faces. And you're trying to make it into kind of like a little dough. Okay, almost there. I'm going to finish up my corn starch. That was 10 of the flour. This is 8. Try to get some of this off of my hand here. this in here as well. Oof. Okay. Next time I'll work with the smaller amount of um, potato. Like I said, that recipe they were showing on YouTube called only for two potatoes. Give this a try, see if it works this way. Still a little sticky. I'm just gonna sprinkle a handful of flour. Just another handful. I think next time, like I said, I'm going to start with the smaller amounts here. And it doesn't matter how much flour I'm putting because it's going to be cooked off when I fry it up, so it's not that bad. Potatoes already cooked, the cheese in there is good. So let's see here. I'm going to add a little bit of flour to the bottom so I can spread this out on top. I don't want it sticking to me. Okay, I take this off over here.
Okay, here. I'm going to put some flour here in the corner. Because that's where I'm going to dip my little cutter. Let's see if I can get it to work. Okay, here's one. And what I'm going to do is just get a little straw. Poke a little hole through it. Another little hole. And that's going to be your eyes. And real quick, put that pan back on. Okay. I'm just moving them around to make them a little bit bigger. And then just use this and kind of like make a little smiley face on it. <laughs> well, let's see how this one comes out. Okay, I'm going to put it aside real quick. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to wash my hands so I can put it in the... Okay, so let me bring you along. Okay, let's see here. Hopefully it's hot enough. And we're just going to let them cook. Kind of toast on both sides. A little golden like you would any hash brown or anything else. I just thought it'd be cute for my granddaughter to have a few like that of the smiley faces. I'm just going to make regular potato patties for us, but for her I'm going to do a few like this. go ahead and play the video or record the whole time it how long it takes everything because this is the first time me making it so I just wanted to make sure not sure how long it takes okay it's getting some color there you can see on one of the eyes and a little bit around the mouth it's getting color before I mess with it I want to make sure that it's fried up on it is, so I'm going to flip it over now. On this side, it doesn't have a little face. Well, it does, but it's a little close because that was the back side. But it should show on the other side. And let me get a paper towel. I'm going to pause you real quick while I get a paper towel. How cute is this? I really like it. She's going to like it. Let me cut into it. I'll make her some more. Let me move this off the heat. See how crispy it is on the inside. Or not crispy. It's going to be soft because it's the mashed potatoes. It has a nice crunch to it. And it cooked like a little donut. That's what it looks like to me on the inside because of the flour. It's a little hot. Let me see. Mm, it was hot, but it tastes really, really good. It has a lot of flavor. 
I really like the way it tastes. Okay, so I'll let you um, go. Let me know if you try it. And if you do, if you like them, let me know. Post it on the page. You know, have a good day. Bye.